2012 music department head and I want to welcome you all to our uh, two-portioned concert. This is our seventh grade portion of our concert. We want to thank you all for being here and most importantly we're just excited to have you here and to also be able to have this concert uh, this evening. Uh, thank you to Foxborough Cable Access who's providing a live stream for those of us who aren't able to attend and we want to make sure that we say hello to you and we're, we're thankful to have you in our virtual audience as well. Um, if we just kindly ask that you silence any noise-making devices, and I also ask that you stay in your seat while students are performing, um, and if you need to exit the auditorium, just please do so while the students are in between songs. Um, once the seventh grade portion is over, we just kindly ask that you exit the auditorium and take your student with you uh, and go home so that we can do our second half of the concert. Um, and lastly, if you don't mind scanning our QR code in the front of your program, just for our contact tracing purposes, should we need to get in touch with you. Without further ado, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Glenn and the seventh grade band.
thank you so much, and thank you so much for being here, uh, either in person or at home watching virtually. Um, I just wanted to take a quick moment to have us remember the last time the, these students were on stage was, we were just talking about it, December 20th, I think, 2019, so over two years ago, when they were in fifth grade playing like Mary Had a Little Lamb, Hot Cross Buns, Jingle Bells, with lots of extra squeak and squonk noises and all those fun beginner sounds. So when you think about the progress that they've made from then till now, through everything that we've done in the last two years, man, that is really, really cool to get to hear. Um, uh, as you might be able to tell, the music is much more advanced now. There's, uh, instead of everyone playing the same thing, there's all these different parts that are happening at the same time. And in some cases, there's even like one player per part. Uh, so we, it's, it's all part of getting better at our instruments and getting better at listening to each other while we play as well. Um, we also, really quick, uh, we had to remove one of our pieces from the performance tonight, but I did take a video recording of it and put it on their Teams page so you can bug them to open up their Teams on their devices and show you the video of a piece called Song for Friends that we worked really hard at as well. Um, we have one more piece for you. Again, thank you so much for coming. This piece is called Imperium.
you so much. I appreciate it. So uh, you might be wondering why I'm playing the cello with the ensemble. Uh, we actually do not have any cellos in the seventh grade. Um, and w me and the students actually had a couple of discussions and we talked a little bit about like what would make a good concert, do we need to have somebody play cello with us, or are we able to play without a conductor? And with a cool, smaller ensemble like this, we actually decided to treat it more like a chamber ensemble, a chamber group, where you don't need a conductor if you can work together, listen, and follow along. So that's what we've been uh, doing a lot of in some great workshop, which is unique and very fun, um, even though I'm not uh, a normal cello player. My first instrument is actually the clarinet, but I'm having so much fun up here playing cello with them, um, and they're doing such a good job listening and following without a director. So I just thought it was important to point that out. Uh, we're going to play one more song for you today, um, and it's called Viking, um, and it's another song that we're using to kind of expand the style of playing that we're doing, so it's a little intense at times, um, and of course, it's supposed to depict some of the Viking uh, feelings and thoughts. And we have Mr. Albro here to help us play Viking on uh, the TomTom, -tom, so thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you enjoy Viking. Thank you. 
evening. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And thank you for waiting while we set up our choir and our piano. Tonight, we have a really unique experience with the seventh and eighth graders because this is the first time that we've combined ourselves in this huge, wonderful choir. Isn't it exciting? Yay! <laughs> We were just warming up together and there's just this warmth in the room with all of us together. So thank you for being here and thank you for being part of your children's music education and their education. And tonight we'll be performing two pieces for you. The first is a beautiful love song where we've been working on singing multi-part chords and they sound so nice. They've worked so hard on these chords. And the second song is a celebratory song in a new language. And tonight we have a piano accompanist with us, Miss Sue Fortin. <laughs> 